Greetings from the eccentric man, and it's time to get all the toys on the table. Let's go. The Eccentric Man YouTube channel is kindly sponsored by the nice people at Lost Art Games in Stevenage. You can find them at their new store in Marketplace. You can also find them online for all your gaming goodies. Well, it's taken 10 months to paint all our English Civil War figures up. And that's John's and mine's. And we thought we would set them out on the table. And here we go, our first game out and our first time using black powder rules we reckon there must be well when we worked it out at least 800 points per army uh, on the table so uh, quite a selection it doesn't give us enough to do the campaign battle in the uh, to kill a king book for Cheriton it means that we're about four cavalry uh, regiments down and possibly a pike or two and musket unit Turn one for John and the Royalists. We did get quite a few rules wrong or misinterpreted, but John did unfortunately roll for his uh, army to move and it didn't, which was a bit sad really for him. In my turn, well, much the same thing happened. Uh, I managed to move a couple of units up, but then I rolled uh, and the commands finished. I just managed to really get the cavalry to move up a little bit and the dragoons to fit behind that wall on the far side. Uh, then into turn two. End of the uh, parliamentarian turn two. And my commanded shot have taken pot shots at the Royalist cavalry and on Rupert's battalion. The unit on the left, you can see there with the marker, that's disordered. And one casualty, and the unit to the right is disordered, and one casualty too. So that was uh, quite good. The commander shot on this side of the hedge did fire, but didn't do anything to them. My cannon on the top was shooting at the cuirassiers and missed. My cannon, light cannon at the centre fired at the pike block with the uh, flag in the centre there. Uh, and we missed. I charged, a big charge, with my cavalry unit to John's Dragoons. It needed me to run three under on my morale test, and I did. So they moved 18 inch, tw no, they moved 27 inches, three nines, three nines, no, 36. Uh, they were in uh, And they contacted the Dragoons. The Dragoons failed their evade and fire move. So um, they uh, have zapped across and we've caused five casualties, which is two more than their full stamina, which means there will be a break test. And we'll see how that plays out. The results of the combat. Uh, very bad for the Dragoons. Um, excess, I, I killed five, which was two over the stamina of three, which means they needed to take a break test, and John failed the break test, and I went off the table. So one of there is what I can do with the cavalry unit, I could have changed formation, so I could have turned to face charging the guns, but then that meant the commander shot on the right could have charged my horse in the rear, or I could have done a sweeping advance if there was still enemy in front of me, but there weren't. So I took the other option, which was to fall back nine inches, uh, and move, and then keep some a little bit safer, but they'll probably take a shot from the commander shot on that right, but we'll see how that goes. John's done his firing, and with the musketeers at the front unit, he's managed to do one casualty on the Carassias and disorder them. Throw a six as one of the uh, hits, and likewise, uh, with the cannon on the, heavy, on the, on the horse, um, was able to put one casualty on them and also disorder them with a six. Uh, or was it? No, it wasn't the cannon, was it? A lie. It was the commanded shot to the right that did that damage. End of the parliamentarian turn. We've done a few little wounds. 
just one or two casualties, but no disorders this time around. Unfortunately for me and the parliamentarians, the Royalist Cavalry is a bit free now. There's no disorders because disorders in the previous term meant they couldn't do any orders, but they are now free. Uh, over here, my charge failed, so I had to stop quite close so I didn't get shot at. Very close this time around. This is the disorder on the cuirassiers will go, and the disorder on the horse on the far side will go. Um, we'll see whether they will get disordered again in John's firing stage. End of our little uh, training game, and the uh, cuirassiers have uh, demolished one unit of shot, sweeping advanced into the next. They can only hold and do uh, very little. Over there, the cavalry beat the uh, shot. Uh, this one's had a break test and went backwards, and a sweeping advance uh, meant that the cavalry could take them as well. Um, yes. And I think after that, they will go, and the cannon will go, and uh, yeah, that will be that on that uh, flank. Over in the middle, John's uh, troops there have formed hedgehog. Well, they can form hedgehog, so my cavalry will stop where they are. They're disordered, so I can't really do anything with them this turn around. And these are just going to fire at this commanded shot. Uh, and this unit here will probably um, just keep shooting at the ones in front. So interesting for our uh, our start at Pike and Shot Black Powder. Well, as I said, it was a bit of a truncated game for the battle report. Uh, it did take some time setting it up, sorting out um, the rules going through them and looking things up. So uh, we did spend a lot of time rule hopping, but it it's to be expected as when you're starting out and sort, sorting out a new game, uh, the pike and shot for black powder. Interesting, it gave us a good idea of uh, what happens with the, uh, the troops and how uh, effective they are against the different types of enemy that they'll be facing. So we're gonna start up a campaign uh, we're going to set it in 42, 43, 44, and have th three campaign seasons, one for each year. And we'll we'll run it from that. So we're going to go for a, a slightly smaller game next time. I think we're looking around about 700 points. So uh, it'll drop a few units off. And uh, I hope to get that battle report up for you. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you... Uh, do spot any rule mistakes that we make, and we are going to make a few, I reckon. Uh, please drop them in the comments section below, and uh, that'll be very helpful. Especially when we move on to the other games, uh, and if we talk about what rules we're doing and what roles we've made. And I hope you'll join us uh, for the future battles in our journey through Pike and Shot and Black Powder. So, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Please hit the notification button to get to the next video and subscribe if you haven't already. Until the next time, take care. And I thought I'd leave you with a little view of the protagonists for our next battle. And it'll be 700 points apiece. <laughs>